G'day cocktail lovers, round two of eggnog. Eggnog of the week, number two. This one we could call an award-winning eggnog on a somewhat limited scale. One of the websites that I use regularly as an inspiration for cocktails is punchdrink.com and they semi-regularly do an article where it's like in search of the perfect you know, drink. What they do is they get some pretty good bartenders to submit their recipe for the best version of a given drink then they make them and blind taste them and rank them and I think it was last Christmas they did eggnogs I'm going to do well I'm going to do my version of the one that won in the blind tasting just checking this it was Sarah Morrissey's eggnog in the details I'll put the exact recipe and it's for one drink it's one egg it's designed to be made one off in a shaker me I wanted a batch of it so I used six eggs rather than one and so I ramped up all the ingredients by a factor of six as well and I played around. Sarah's recipe said to use brandy but I'm actually splitting it between some cognac and some rum. In fact, spiced rum. And honestly, with eggnog, I think this is where spiced rum comes into its own. This is actually a good one but even your Captain Morgans and such like that are often derided for having a poor quality spirit that they're trying to cover with flavours. Eggnog's what they're made for, I think, because it's not like you're going to get the subtleties of a good rum in an eggnog. So those flavours in a spiced rum, I reckon they're great for an eggnog. So that base is split between those two. And then there is some coffee liqueur. I'm using Bless Me. Technically not a coffee liqueur. It's coffee infused whiskey, but I'm a wild and crazy man. No one can stop me. And it called for a vanilla liqueur. I'm using liquor 43. And it also said use some cinnamon sugar syrup rather than syrup, sorry, cinnamon, si cinnamon sugar syrup rather than sugar. I didn't realize that was a tongue twister until I tried to say it. So I'm using my spiced apple sugar syrup. It's with brown sugar and it's cinnamon and other cooking spices in there. So I think that's going to go well. There's cream in there. And because I was looking at more than one recipe, well, because Sarah's had those cheeky little extras. We'll put some coffee in there, put some vanilla in there. And I've seen other recipes that throw in all sorts of things. They say, oh, we'll put some cherry here. Sometimes it's fruit juice. Sometimes they say a bit of lime juice, a bit of orange juice. One that caught my eye was someone saying using pimento dram or allspice dram. I thought, yeah, you know, my little twist, I'm going to put some pimento dram in there as well. So this is considerably more complicated than uh, the last one I made. But you know what? I'm thinking it's going to be worth it. Here's how I made it. I started off with six eggs in a mixing bowl and whipped them up. Then I added six ounces of cream to that and whipped that in. And then we did the booze elements. I put three ounces of my sugar syrup, and then I put three ounces of the liquor 43 vanilla liqueur. And I put three ounces of the coffee liqueur in there. And then I put six ounces of the brandy in and six ounces of the spiced rum. And then I remembered my little twist at the end. So I put three ounces of pimento dram in. I whipped all that till it was thoroughly mixed. And then I put it in the fridge for a while. Although you can actually do eggnog hot as well. I decided serving wise, it should be a crushed Biscoff rim on this and a little extra touch. I just grated some nutmeg over the top which gives us what I think is a pretty extravagant eggnog and giving it a taste. That is boozy. Wow, this tastes like, my word, a caramel coffee milkshake. Wow, this is over the top. And it's actually got real depth of flavor. Those little individual flavors, they're not wasted. They actually come through at different times. This is gonna be dangerous because this is a pretty boozy eggnog and I made enough for six serves and there's probably more than one serve in this cup actually but I'm gonna soldier on and I'm gonna keep marching towards uh, the next couple of weeks and a few twists and we are building up to my three month aged eggnog so stay tuned for that it'll either be good bad or might kill me who knows you'll know if you stay tuned subscribe if you're not already subscribed to see what happens until then cheers